So this is our lecture about typography. According to Wikipedia, typography is the art and technique of arranging type to make written language readable and beautiful. Typography is an essential part of any design. After all, most of your website will be written content, so it's quite important that you make content good looking. Good typography makes us want to read and good typography can make your design look very professional. Just look at these two examples and see the difference that good typography makes. It's quite impressive, right? So let's look at a couple of guidelines to achieve exactly that. The first step of good typography is of course to use good looking fonts. Let's first distinguish between serif and sans serif typeface. A serif typeface is one that has those small extensions or strokes called serifs at the end of the letters, just as you can see here. Now, a very good free resource where you can get web fonts is Google Fonts. Web fonts are fonts that you can include directly into your projects without having to download any files. Later in the course we will learn how to use web fonts in our project. Anyway, I will first show you some sans serif typefaces that you can get from Google Fonts. Sans serif typefaces are more neutral, looking more clean and simple. They are widely used in most modern websites or apps. All of these fonts you can see here are broadly used, so you can get wrong when choosing any of them. So at the end of the day, I guess it comes down to what you like the most. Play around with different typefaces and see which helps to reflect the look and feel you want for your website that you're designing. And here are three beautiful serif typefaces, also from Google Fonts. Serif typefaces are usually used for more traditional purposes that encourage reading and storytelling. So I encourage you to use these if you have a lot of text to show, like a blog post or something like that. Have a look at the course ebook for some links about fonts and typography in general. The next guideline is to use a font size between 15 and 25 pixels. It really depends on the typeface you choose, how much text you got and how much you want it to stand out. Use a line spacing between 120 and 145% of the font size. Line spacing is the vertical distance between lines and makes text easier to read. For bigger headlines, you can usually go for a smaller line height than for the body text. 45 to 90 characters per line is the optimal line length that is easy to read and the reader will thank you for respecting this rule. 45 to 90 characters it's like two to three lowercase alphabets. So always try to go for that. And the last one, don't be afraid to use big font sizes, especially for headlines. However, if you do that, you should in many situations reduce the font weight because otherwise it will look weird and steal the user's attention from the rest of your content. That is exactly what websites like these two are doing. Looks pretty great, right? Google fonts usually come with different font weights. This example here is Open Sans, which has a large variety of styles. The small number on top of each of the examples is the font weight value for each style, which can be used in CSS. More about that later. And that's it for typography. Next up, we have a lecture about colors.